We originally posted about this story over on Instagram and asked you guys if you wanted a full video on it. And with the result that resounding, how could we say no? And you should give us a follow if you want bonus posts like these and the ability to cast your vote in the future. Anyway, on Thursday morning, French police seized a British trawler for fishing in French waters without a license. This comes immediately after the French warned on Wednesday that they were considering cutting off energy to the island of Jersey if the UK didn't grant more licenses to French ships, all as part of an escalating row over fishing licenses which has been brewing for the last nine months. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this row, what it means for wider UK-EU relations and what might happen now. On Wednesday, French police find two boats in the Baie de Seine in northern France, one for failing to comply with checks from French police and one for fishing without a license. The first boat was sent back to the UK with a fine, which is usually what happens in this sort of situation. But the second boat was ordered to sail to Le Havre, where it's now been detained. This is an unusually harsh decision. In most cases, a ship without a license would simply be fined and told to return to British waters. But French authorities decided to take a harder line, because the UK and France are currently in a long-running fishing dispute, which started after the end of the transition period in January of this year. This isn't us being conspiratorial either. In a statement, the French government said that the checks, which were during the scallop fishing season, had been routine, but admitted that they were conducted in the context of the discussion on licenses with the United Kingdom and the European Commission. So what's going on and how do we get here? Well, to understand the current dispute, you have to go back to the Brexit deal itself. The deal basically said that French fishermen could fish in British waters if they could prove that they'd fished there between 2012 and 2016. This is pretty easy to prove, as most ships have GPS data which shows where they've been fishing over the years. But it has proved to be a bit controversial, to say the least. Since January of this year, when the transition period ended and the new Brexit deal rules came into play, France has insisted that the UK has unfairly denied fishing licences to French boats. The UK unsurprisingly denies this, and both sides have accused each other of playing up to their domestic audiences. The French have accused the British of refusing licences to French boats to prove that Brexit is great for British fishermen. While well, the British have accused the French and Macron of manufacturing a crisis so they can look like they're standing up for French fishermen ahead of the presidential elections next year. And as both sides dig in, things have gradually escalated. In May, French fishing boats blockaded the Jersey port of St Helier, and the UK responded by sending a Navy gunboat. And just last month, France's Europe minister threatened to cut off energy to the Channel Islands, which rely on French undersea cables for 95% of their energy consumption. In the end, France didn't go through with it, but on Wednesday, they announced that in response to what they perceived as a violation of the withdrawal agreement, they'd be introducing retaliatory measures from November 2nd. These included a ban on disembarking British fishing vessels in designated ports, strengthening the sanitary and customs controls, systematic safety checks of British ships, and strengthening the controls on trucks from the United Kingdom. As well as this, the Europe minister reiterated his threat of cutting off energy supplies and said that further measures were being considered. In response, David Frost tweeted, describing the French reaction as very disappointing, and noted that the UK had received no formal communications from the French government in advance. So, who's right in this case? Well, it is hard to know, because neither side can agree on figures. The UK sent out an official response on Wednesday, and according to them, the UK is abiding to their commitments under the Brexit deal, and has granted 98% of the 1,700 or so license applications from EU vessels to fish in British waters. Unfortunately for journalists around the world though, the French dispute this figure. According to the French Maritime Minister, the actual figure is 90.3% and the remaining 9.7% of EU vessels which were denied licences are primarily French ships. 
According to a French government spokesman, this means that France has been granted only about 50% of the licenses they're entitled to, which is roughly consistent with the stats provided by the French Ministry of the Sea, which said that just over 100 of the 175 licenses, or 57%, have been approved. Whatever the actual figure for ships though, there have been some specific cases which have particularly upset the French. For example, last month the British government announced that just 12 of 47 French boats will be allowed to fish in the UK's inshore waters, which is essentially the water 6 to 12 miles from the UK's coastline, claiming that the remaining boats failed to prove that they'd been fishing in UK waters from 2012 to 2016. So, with the dispute rumbling on, and people still not agreeing on the data, what happens now? Well, France has reported the issue to the European Commission and other EU member states, in line with the provisions of the withdrawal agreement. But they haven't said anything yet, and are unlikely to get involved. The last time the French got grumpy with the UK about fishing in September, the rest of the EU refused to intervene, and only committed to, quote, further technical work in accordance with the spirit and the letter of the agreement. This is probably because, well, the EU and the UK have enough to sort out with the whole Northern Ireland protocol negotiation. And to be frank, most EU countries just don't care that much about fishing. And that's probably the silliest part of this whole row. The UK and France are burning a 100-year-old diplomatic bridge over fish. We're sorry, fishermen, but fishing just isn't that important. As an industry, it's worth just 0.1% of the UK's GDP, and falling out over a few fishing licences just doesn't seem worth it. The only reason it's become such a big deal is because, well, it's politically important for both sides. The UK is keen to prove that Brexit is a big win for British fishermen, and Macron clearly has his eyes on the 2022 presidential elections. We're not going to get into who's behaving worse in this spat, because that's sort of irrelevant. The fact is that both sides are currently behaving pretty badly. The UK should stop being needlessly petty and hostile to the EU, and France shouldn't threaten to cut off energy supplies to Jersey. But what do you think? Is this what Boris and Frost deserve after their endless anti-EU guff? Or is this a silly, underthought play from Macron for his domestic audience? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I release a new video. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible. And if you want to see your name at the end of videos, then you too can back us on Patreon. The link to that is in the description.